Robert Kirita, the warmongering coordinator of the Draconis Combine, was assassinated in 2412, bringing to an end his reign of misdeeds. Though it was never proven, the common belief is that it was orchestrated as a revenge killing by his sister Marika, as retribution for killing her lover, Verna von Rose, a stable boy who had been deemed to be beneath her station. Marika was already pregnant at the time, and shortly before the Age of War began, gave birth to Nahongi von Rose, named for his grandfather, who shared a love of horses. Raised from birth to have a deep hatred of the ruling Kurita line, the child would in time come closer to extinguishing the Kurita family than either of their long-term rivals, the Davians and Steiners, have ever been. In Robert's place rose his brother Parker, an uninspired leader who achieved little of note during his time as coordinator. It was perhaps because of this that Nahongi was able to begin winning the support of several military officers with talk of ousting Parker. The death of the third brother, Saigo, during a raid on Vega in 2419 created somewhat of a succession crisis. Though illegitimate, Nahongi was now the closest blood relative to Parker, and next in line for the throne. Only a single thing now stood in his way, the support of a major Kurita backer. Decades earlier, the Eurasian branch of the Kurita family had established themselves as the military governors of the Principality of Razalhag. A significant portion of the population had always chafed under the rule of a foreign realm however, and in 2375 orchestrated a terrorist bombing that saw almost the complete destruction of the Eurasian branch. Jason Kirita, Eurozone's great-grandson, survived the blast, but was seriously mentally scarred by the death of almost his entire family. In time, he would unleash a campaign of brutality against the people he governed. Also surviving the blast was his sister, Oma, who had been whisked away by the rebels and was held in seclusion under the watchful eye of the Sorensen family. Before any demands were made, fate dealt an unexpected hand when Oma fell in love with her would-be kidnapper, eventually giving birth to a son, Daniel Sorensen. When Jason finally learned his sister was alive, he launched an attack to recover her from the rebels, most of whom were killed during the fighting. Grief stricken by the death of her husband, Oma never recovered, and passed away a few years later, around the time that another illegitimate child was born, Nahongi von Roos. Jason and Nahongi fell into league together, the latter promising great rewards and power in his new government, the same favours he was offering to all of his supporters. With Jason's support, it was now time to act on his master plan. In March of 2421, as the coordinator slept, his household guard was being cycled out and new men loyal to Nahongi took to their posts. As the palace woke the next morning, they found that Parker had been sentenced and executed within a few hours during the night, and the new coordinator now sat the throne. Though some units resisted the takeover, reinforcements dispatched by Jason Kurita swiftly ensured the success of the coup. Nor was this the only killing that took place. Several co-conspirators were also summarily executed, as were certain members of the Kurita family, with many more being sent into exile. However, by sending his troops, Jason had opened up his own realm to the rebellion, and was soon facing serious opposition helmed by none other than his nephew Daniel Sorensen. Hearing of their distant cousin's escapades, the exiled members of the Kurita family flocked to his cause, and in another twist of fate, the Razalhag rebels became the Kurita loyalists. When Daniel came for Jason Kurita, the governor resisted arrest and tried to shoot his nephew, but was in turn killed by Sorensen. He now rose to prominence as the new Lord of Razalhag, and once again, the realm was a free and independent nation. Unfortunately for the citizens of the Draconis Combine, their lives became one of constant terror under the police state of the Von Rose. Shortly after his ascension, Nahongi took to styling himself purely by his family name, a trait that he would pass on to his children and successors. Many in the Combine today could not even tell you how many Von Rohr coordinators there were, as the entire family withdrew into seclusion and ruled without contact with the outside world. The rest of the 25th century played out without much of note for us historians to look into. After securing plans to construct battle mechs, the Von Rohrs were able to reverse the losses suffered during the Long March campaign. One of the chief tools in this victory was the self-styled Draconis mech, the Von Rohr. By 2497, an unusual situation had developed in the Benjamin district worlds close to the Terran hegemony. The Azami people had gradually established majority governorship of several planets and formed their own breakaway nation within the borders of the Draconis Combine. The Von Rohr coordinator at the time dispatched an invasion force to subjugate these people, but the assault would unfold with disturbing parallels to an old Earth tale known as the War of the Worlds. As unspeakable atrocities were committed, the Draconis forces came into contact with the blood of the dead civilians. The dead bodies and the hot temperatures of the Azami worlds, coupled with the latent virus present in the blood, created a plague that would wipe out the entire invasion force down to the last man. Also during this period, new attempts were made to reconcile the Draconis Combine with the Principality of Razalhag. Martin McAllister was dispatched as an ambassador to treat with Blaine Sorensen. 
Unexpectedly, or perhaps as Sorrentin had orchestrated, he found himself falling in love with Blaine's daughter, Ileana. The love proved genuine, and in time, the couple would celebrate the birth of their daughter. Sidowa McAllister was born in February 2496, and would go on to become one of the most influential individuals in the history of the Innisfere. Certainly the exploits of her life are deserving of a special focus, but for the time being she was just a child, and so for now we'll leave her out of the history, though she was present at several of the key meetings and events of this era. McAllister and Sorrentin, meanwhile, were formulating their own plans. Martin was dispatched on several lengthy trips to Razalhag under the guise of building relations between the two realms. The Von Rohrs remained oblivious to his true intentions, and he continued to work his way up the chain of command until he was one of the most powerful individuals within the Combine. Even still, Martin remained unsure whether he had even met a member of the Von Rohr household, so secretive was that ruling family. In 2508, Coordinator Yama was abruptly imprisoned and removed from office by troops loyal to McAllister. A new Von Rohr was hurriedly sworn in, but confusion reigned as neither the new coordinator understood what charges had been laid against his brother and how he suddenly now held a position of apparent supreme power, nor did the government functionaries and military leaders understand who was even the new coordinator. The Von Rohr family's grip on the Combine started to falter. In 2510, Blaine Sorensen unexpectedly launched a major invasion of the Combine. All available troops were dispatched to meet this attack, leaving the palace on New Samarkand open to a strike. McAllister chose this moment to assault the coordinator's residence. With no one quite sure as to the identities of those within, a brutal purge was conducted that saw the entire population of the compound wiped out, von Rohr and servants alike. In an instant, the family that had ruled the Draconis Combine for almost a century was extinguished. In the aftermath, the militaries of the two powers were hastily stood down to avoid further bloodshed. Sorensen's attack had been nothing but a ruse, and Martin and Blaine met on the world of Pest to make an announcement that would shock the Combine. Many years earlier, Sorensen had insisted that McAllister take a DNA analysis which had proven beyond a doubt that Martin was in fact a blood descendant of Shiro Kurita, the founding father of the Draconis Combine. His marriage to Ileana meant that the two families were now bound by blood, and plans were drawn up to fully integrate the Principality of Razalhag as a part of the Combine, achieving what Yuvasen had set out to do almost 200 years earlier. Blaine Sorensen was confirmed in his new position as Duke of Razalhag. Furthermore, six years later, a representative from the Azami people approached McAllister and the two groups were reconciled, those worlds also returning to the fold as a semi-autonomous region. With these changes, the Draconis Combine as we would recognise it today was fully formed. Martin McAllister became the 10th coordinator, bringing to an end the 89 years of Von Rohr reign. For the first time in history, the Combine would know peace, and though the occasional border raid would break the spell, for the Curitan citizens, the age of war had ended early. 